So I'm not quite sure what happened last time, but we had a bit of no sound. So let's try again. This is Sam and Zach's seven bed rent to rent SA. And I'm here to give you guys a tour because I was here about a month seven ago, bed. just over a month when they first took it on. The landlord was here as well. So if you want no sound. We got sound? We got sound. Cool. We have sound. We got sound. Here's Sam. How are we doing, guys? You can hear me this time. You can hear him this Kenny's time. Kenny's fancy microphones, you know, yeah. paid a lot of money for. They're meant to be amazing. Yeah, they're meant to be amazing. Not so much. I don't know what happened. Anyway, let's have a look. Here we go. We we'll try again. So Sam, talk us through. <laughs> talk us through. I'll, I'll, we're we're stop saying again. <laughs> Just talk us through okay. this seven bed. What made you take it on? Because obviously this is not included in my training. Everything's like go for one bed, two bed with parking. This is a seven bed house. So obviously HMO was ruled out because there's no HMO compliance. There's no compliance. Um, so what made you and Zach think, yeah, seven bed, let's go for it for a service accommodation. We, we run the numbers on it yeah. and it looked very healthy. Checked the area out, looked at the comparables that we had. The only other comparable, which is a house of a similar size is... Don't give away the location. All right, yeah, obviously you guys have worked hard to find the... the yeah, the, the only other comparable area. we have, which is a detached house, um, they let it out at 380 a night, which is the only other comparable. All the other ones are much smaller than this. 380 a night. And what are you guys going for? 300, <coughs> 300 a night. 300 a night. So, so this being conservative. Yeah, absolutely. It could well do a hell of a lot better than that. We might be able to play with the figures, but at 300 pound a night, we still make very, very good money. Yeah. We can drop the nightly rate down to like two, 240 at a 50% occupancy and still yeah. do okay out of it. Okay. So, so what's the profit looking like? Pretty good. I mean... <sighs> It could do. I'm serious, just laughing because we're going through the yeah, same it could, it could do serious numbers. If we're being conservative, the profit margin on this would be about four thousand a month out of this one house. Clear profit. Clear profit. Four grand. Four grand a month out of this house. Four thousand pound profit from one house. One house. The rent's two thousand. With all the bills, everything else, we're probably going to be two thousand eight hundred pounds in. Um, yeah. To the house every month. To be fair, it's a seven bed property. It should profit. Quite yeah, nicely. three, three to four thousand. Being conservative, it was. Let's, th let's walk that way because I left my cup of tea in the kitchen. Come on. Didn't even ask about that room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'd, we'd go back to that room. Priority here, Sam. Is I need my cup of tea. Are you drinking his tea? All oh, right. <laughs> there you go. So, talk us through what you've done in this kitchen because there wasn't <coughs> too much to do. Um, it's quite. It, it's a fit for purpose kitchen. Swap the door. The door was completely ruined. Yep. Um, put a new door on it, which the landlord had in the garage. He said, help yourself to it. I went, fine, thanks very much. Painted it grey. Um, the ceiling had a leak, or well, we had a leak on the roof yeah, above. That was quite um, a nasty stain. It was it? quite nasty, so although it's not perfect now, we've filled it, painted it, it's been zinzered. Um, and it's, yeah, we've just whited it up. It still needs a few touches here and there around the place. Repaired the oven, bought a, um, a double fridge, for all the bits and pieces for it. But in here, realistically, it's only been paint, pissing around with the doors, swapping that door out. Yeah. In here was a little bit more work. We've got the downstairs shower here. This here spat all the tiles out at me. Again, same as the place up, the, uh, the bathroom so upstairs. Yeah, the so I retiled the bottom section down here because it was done, the, the workmanship was... And you built that? You built oh, that yeah, and I, and I built a... Uh, some boxing in for the boiler because it was just on show and looked a bit yeah. crap. Yeah. Again, yeah. this bit of timber here was given to me by the landlord. He went, I've got a sheet down the garden. Do you yeah. want it? I went, so, perfect. Thank yeah, you very the, hus much. the husband. The husband gave it to me. The wife was, didn't want to give it to me. Was apparently. livid. She was livid that... Um, she was here earlier and she was asking about this bit of plywood, chipboard. Oh, she wanted chipboard. She wanted chipboard. some burnt. She was after some fixings for the... Um, so they're guaranteeing rent. They're doing a huge refurb on this place. This was a nasty stain up here, and you've completely fixed the damp and yeah, all of this thing. The wife got quite leery and Not angry right. that a bit of chipboard went missing, and you've done them a favour by boxing in the boiler. Yeah, mental. Hey anyway. ho, she obviously wanted to use it for something she else. She was not a happy person. So let's keep going then. This room's huge. This room, yeah. What again, have you done in this room? This room, completely painted it out, paint the radiators black. There's another one hidden behind yep. here. A little bit of wall art. We actually kept the existing wallpaper here. Might not be to everyone's taste. It's not actually to my taste, but it was more work to try and deal with it than actually keep it, and it doesn't look terrible. It's fine. Painted um, 
around the fireplace. That yep. was a pine colour, I believe, or well, I can't remember what colour yeah, it was I now. Can't, I can't remember, to be fair. I've painted so much here now. Yeah. So, yeah. So there's it's just still a bit of space to fill there some, with some what. So we're thinking that that table is too big. That needs either reducing or something put in here. But yeah. yeah. So we've tinted these windows, so this now effectively becomes boxed off and is now a contained bedroom. We've tested the silhouetteness. Mm, oh. And you, can't, is, you can't see they're, much. They're not, it's not terrible. It's you, safe. There, there is, it's safe, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you stand sort of side on in this mirror here naked, then maybe you might see something. But, yeah. yeah. Um, Coming for a walk? The, the TV going on the wall here. Should, it's nice and cosy. Very comfortable. Um, the fans, we considered taking them out and then thought, no, just leave them. Yeah. They're not doing any harm. No, they're not. And to be fair, in the summer, they might be useful. So... Let us know in the comments if you can actually hear us. We think we've got sound, but the first time around we had no sound. Um, this so, bedroom again, just painted out. We kept this existing wallpaper as a bit of a feature wall. I did have to box that in, still got a trim around there. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. Um, there was a gaping hole in it, but yeah, just a little bit trimming up around here. Furnished it, painted it, stuck yeah. a little bit of wall out on the wall. But realistically, not done a hell of a lot in here. <laughs> Stuck a little bit of wall art on the wall. Yeah. yeah, a little bit. There's another one there. Yeah, exactly. Painted the radiator black, painted the doors grey. Although, again, still not completely finished. We're working on it. Yeah. Um, yeah, curtains, fine. yeah, um, not um, much to go. Yeah, curtains in here, but this Getting is there. pretty much there. Have we looked at this one? No. Nope. Um, yeah, this, this bedroom is the bedroom we've done the absolute least in. So um, this wallpaper was already in place. Yeah, this I didn't was hate on, quite up together, wasn't it? I didn't hate on it too much. The fireplace, again, I've not really done anything in here other than furnish it. Yeah. The carpet needs a little bit of a clean as you walk in. But other than that, that is literally it. We've just furnished so how, this. How many people can this sleep up to? You could put 15 people in 15 this house. 15 people. If two people were in the double beds. So even if they paid £20 each a night, that's your £300 that you can get quite a substantial. Yeah. I mean, 15 people is quite a lot of people to stay in one house. Yes. Still a bit of work to do with the carpets. Wait, the carpet wasn't here earlier if he was here for the earlier video. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah, sound got me working. I can't make him work for his four grand now, <laughs> Um, in here, retiled a large section of this. It was an absolute ball lake. Can you tell which, which section he's retiled? Don't zoom in too close. <laughs> Christ. It's only a contractor house. Jeez. Yeah, this bed, these two bedrooms are just waiting on carpet. Yep. Double bed, gonna slide in the back there. The furniture is obviously to be spread amongst this wardrobe is to go next door. This one's already got a built-in wardrobe. Yep. Carpet down. Bedside table in, bed in, done. Again, carpet down, carpet down, bed, wardrobe, bedside table, done, complete. Oh, and curtains, of course. Yeah, it's a bit of a small room, but single, fine, isn't it? <laughs> it was, um, it was a bit of a shit house trying to do this job because that yeah. wall was very, very damp. But yeah, we got over it. Takeshi's castle going on down there. <laughs> so this is this room is finished, pretty much, isn't it? Just needs a good clean. Yeah. Well, not a good clean, just needs a clean. Here's the curtains demonstrator. The curtain demonstrator here. Yeah, yeah this is, you know, a good con contract space, isn't it? <coughs> so let me stand back into the corner so you guys can see. Yeah, again, it's all pretty straightforward. Lots of paint, a couple of beds, paint the radiators black, a little bit of wall art again. The landlord's done quite a considerable amount of work with the smoke alarm system, so he has had a new system installed. Um, he had an electrician that did a hell of a lot of work in here and um, made a whole load more work for me. But yeah, no, we got over it now. But other than that, it's just a couple of beds, wardrobe, bedside tables, and it's and a rug. Yeah. Nothing too, um, too I mean, strenuous, perfect for contractors. It needs a rug in here, does it? <laughs> <laughs> just telling jokes. Again, same detail in here. Complete paint out. The walls were all wallpapered. Yeah, so you and Zach and 
had a lot of work to do, haven't you? So you've painted all the radiators. We've been working solidly for the past month on this house. Yes. I've been doing the weekends, he's been doing the weeks. Yeah. So um, talk through numbers and stuff upstairs. Um, when we talk about the rent-free period, how you negotiated it. Yep. The landlord. Let's go for it. Let's go upstairs. Yeah, come on. Last nice room. Again, painted the woodwork black. Yeah, all, all, all woodwork. of this has been painted. All of this has been painted again, isn't it? Everything, yeah. Complete paint out up here. The doors were painted, but it looks to me like somebody's used WD-40 to try and ease the doors. And it's oh, actually, yeah. you, can see it, you see it's stained, yeah. it's creeped up. But um, yeah, the bed is still to be built which is downstairs. Yeah. Yeah. Paint Do you want to hold the, this? Paint the pipes. Yeah, go on the three boots. Let me just check here. I haven't pressed mute. Let's have a look. <laughs> cool. We've still got a Wait sound. Again. Yeah. Talk <coughs> us through, how did you meet the landlord? Um, well, it was all, all through Zach. So we had the, the agent that we deal with, um, he's pretty good and just keeps throwing us deals. Yeah. So we're getting thrown deals left, right and centre from this agent. This house come up and he said, do you want to go and take a look? We yeah, went, so you don't, you don't need many agents in one. your back pocket. We have, one. we have Repeat one. Repeat business. We have one agent. That and just, you'll actually struggle to keep up with that agent throwing deals at you. We, we actually are. We're yeah. currently struggling to keep up with the... Um, That's why a lot way. of... A lot of like we, we do direct-to-vendor stuff as well. Yeah, yeah. We're, I'm actually got a deal at the but moment. But a lot of people will rule out working on right move with estate agents. Yeah. Because it's harder. But it should be, because you've got repeat business. So mm -hmm. you've got an, another SA four minutes from here. Yep, and there's a one bed apartment, which is yeah, four minutes away, which is making some money now, which is quite nice. It's not turned over bundles, but it's paid for itself at least. Well, yeah, and, it's a one bed SA, But again, it's it? only as as been up and running. Minimum. What's it been running? Less than, yeah, less than a month or about a month now. Yeah. One's been up and running, so it's paid for itself and a little bit more. Is that through the same agent? All through the same agent. Yeah. This house, that house, there's another house, which we're, we've actually recently declined because it he decided that he wanted more money for the rent. We worked the numbers at, uh, what did we work them at? 1,200 or, 30, I think it was 1,200 we worked yeah. the numbers at, it worked fine. He said, no, we want 1,500 pound a month for it and we just declined. Yeah. We went, sorry, it's just too much. Our, yeah. our margins aren't gonna be what we need them to be. So. so you're paying two grand a rent on this one? Two grand rent on this. Rent free period? Two months. Two months? Two months. How did you get two months? I didn't get two months. Zach got two months. Zach got two months. Zach's... Oh, it was his face, wasn't it? Yeah, Zach, do you remember? We were probably... So we'd done a previous tour when the landlord yeah. was here. Um, scroll down the group or search it in the featured areas, but I'd done a tour of this. As you guys collected the keys, the yeah. landlord was here. Yep. It was, yeah, he was quite a nice, really nice person, actually, wasn't he? He's, he's, really he's absolutely spot on. His wife, um, maybe not. No, she's, she is nice. <laughs> she's just a little bit fur <laughs> she's furious with me at the moment. Yeah. So. Someone turned off the electricity to the outside freezer where the landlord was storing a lot of food and it's all defrosted. It's all completely gone and it and stinks. she now. was not happy. Furious about it. So Anyway, that. rent two grand, rent free period of two, two months. Two months. Two months is brilliant. So we've still got a month left now. You've got so. a month left and you're nearly there yep. to get it live as soon as possible to get your initial investment or this is going to be a large initial investment. The, the, yeah, we've invested probably about 8,000 I would say. Yeah. into this house so but far. it's going to profit four thousand pound a month conservatively yeah three three and a half to four thousand pounds a month it should so not be. long to recoup your initial costs no not at all yeah not at all it was worth the i think it would be worth the outlay yeah so you and Sa you and zach uh you got other deals going on we've got one down south which is by me it's actually through a client that i work with um i did a refurb on a house she now wants to up and leave it's already a guest house that's got uh, three bedrooms, which are now fo they're fully booked up until uh, September, end of September. So we know it works. They rent for £110 a night each. And then the, obviously she's moving out, <coughs> excuse me, she's moving out of the apartment downstairs, which will do 240 a night. So the house has the potential to do very, very big numbers. Yeah. Although the rent on the house is 6000 a month. And what's we, the profit? Ballpark. Ballpark, we can do, again, six, seven. A month. Six, six grand we would do a month <laughs> out of that. I teach my mentees to go for one or two bed or pushing it, three bed places. <coughs> As newbies. We are no, the, no, no, no. <laughs> Ken, Kenny doesn't know what he's talking yeah. about. There's an eight bed over there. <laughs> we are the exception to the rule. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, we certainly are. So, But 
you're crunching your numbers, it's all calculated risk. So yeah, it's a calculated risk. We've made, we've decided, yeah, we're going to go for that house. Talk and us it, through. It's money. Yeah, that's the main thing. Yeah, absolutely. Talk us through what did life look like before you joined me? Oh, very different. I mean, I was, I don't get me wrong, I earn well in what I do. I'm a project manager for a, a development company, so um, yeah, it's not a bad pay job. I'm working around London way, but I'm trading a lot of my time for that money. And by a lot, I mean I'm working all the hours under the sun. It requires my attention, left, right and centre, all the time, from like 7 o'clock in the morning all the way through till 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night, some nights, the WhatsApp doesn't stop. And I just want to get rid of it. Absolutely sick to death of dealing with messages left, right and centre from clients, got problems on jobs, got this issue, that issue. So when you and started then, looking into rent to rent, all that going on in your head... And you found rent to rent? Was that the first I, so, round? No, it found? wasn't. So I, I did a few courses with Progressive. Don't swear. We're on a live, don't swear. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I'd already done a few courses prior to this and I sat on the fence for a long period of time. So this was sort of over the past two, two, two and a half years, I would say. I've been sort of dabbling here and there. So you've done courses with Progressive. Yep, Why cool. didn't you go on and carry on doing it with Progressive? Their mentorship programme was 10 grand plus the VAT, and I thought, yeah, we probably could afford that right now, but do I really want to pump 12 grand into a course which is not guaranteeing me nothing? So, I mean, no, nothing is guaranteed. It, nothing, anyway. No, no, nothing's guaranteed. It's not, it's not going to... Um, I just didn't feel... It didn't feel right. There were so many people that <clears> were <throat> arming and ahhing about it. It was a lot of money to invest. I'd been watching Kenny in the background for quite a long period of time. It's amazing. Months. So many of you guys... Never like, never comment, never interact, never send me a yeah. message. And then suddenly you, something will just trigger in your mind. You're like, yeah, right, absolutely. join it. And then I jump on a Zoom with them and it's like, you know me. Oh, yeah, like I, I was, <laughs> it, it was like I was having a conversation like with a pal that I've known for years. Yeah, honestly. Because I've got to know him yeah, over this period of time. For he had no idea who I was. Like, yeah, I'm just like, like, this guy's talking to me like we're besties. <laughs> <laughs> and then here we, well, we are now, it's fine. So that was life before. But now, yes, completely Then changed. you joined. Yeah, How yeah. was the training for the first? Tra training's been fantastic. Held my hand throughout the whole period, giving me a complete kick up the arse, which I needed. But I'd sat, I say I sat on the fence. I'd, I was working away. We was working away in the background, but we wasn't, um, I wasn't doing enough. Zach had a shed load of deals. He didn't have much cash. Why wasn't you yeah. doing enough? Because I was working so much. I was working all the hours under the sun. It was very difficult to try and make calls. Yeah. So Sam was so keen, you know, you were turning up weekly. Yeah, yeah. Calling me quite regularly. So you were invested. You just didn't have the time to do, take action. Yeah, absolutely. And it was frustrating. Frustrating very, for me very as well. Because yeah. So it took six months. It was six months for me. I was there are some stuff you can do, though, outside of you working hour, hours. But yeah, you absolutely. were just working so much. I was doing a hell of a lot. I could have done more, don't get me wrong, but once you've got to You the, could have done more. I know you could have done more. Once you get to the end of the <laughs> night, it's sort of eight o'clock, and you think, oh, I really should. It got to the six-month point, and I called Sam, and I said, this isn't a nice phone call. He did, yeah. It's very true. <laughs> yeah. He said, what, 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 what is this day? Yeah, what is this and day? I, go, oh, I don't fucking know. No idea. And then, um, oh, actually, yeah, Christ. Six months? Yep, six months. You're like, pull your finger out. No you really, results. You really, you've had no results. You've been on viewings. You've been on, you know, had not as many viewings as I should have had over that six months. Probably, maybe ten viewings. Yeah, it's not enough. Wasn't enough. I went on twenty-three viewings in sixty days. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah. in six months, I'd gone on ten viewings. I hadn't done anywhere near enough. But yeah, me and Zach met, and um, it all completely changed. So yeah, that that's my one-to-one -one support then. And then the this is how. We're here today. So the community, Zach's another mentee. Yep. You JV'd with another mentee. How's that been? I mean, the one-to-one -one support with Kenny's fantastic, but having the or everyone else around you that are all going through the same thing, you need it. You really need someone else around you that, you know, we, you need a good kick up the arse from somebody else. We do, um, what do we call it? Every week. <coughs> group Zoom. No, not the group Zoom. Accountability Accountability partners. partners. Fantastic. Don't go to him. That's, that's my secret nugget. Don't, Is that a don't secret give him, Don't give him too much. Don't give him too much. Okay. 
the one-to-one support <laughs> and the support from everybody else is fantastic. Yeah. Um, you definitely need it. That's, yeah. that's honestly, I think the accountability from the group and myself and what I've created is why the group gets so much results. Oh, the group right now, we can't, it's, it. can't it's keep insane. up. Can't, I can't keep up with You can't results. keep up with us, let alone what everyone else is doing. I have to ask them every Friday. What are you up to? What's, what's, what's happened? And we go, well, we've done this, got this, 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 and this. We've put an offer in here, we've put an offer in there. We're doing, yeah, we're doing so much now, whereas beforehand we were doing so little. I was doing so little, but now me and Zach are together. We're absolutely smashing it. Yeah, I'm really proud of you boys. So what would you say to anybody who is on the fence thinking about joining I'll do the programme? Absolutely, 100% do it, just jump in. There's no point in trying to go at it yourself because you'll never get there. You need some, when, <clears throat> when things go wrong and you've got questions to ask and there's nobody there to hold your hand, you're in trouble. Like there's been questions that I've had to ask where I've gone, I need some help right now. Can you look over this contract for me, please? Well, I, I don't know what I'm yeah. tying myself into. Can you help me out with that? Absolutely. So within half an hour, hour tops, there he is. Yep, that's fine. Sign that, no problem. And then other issues, you think, mm, is that a little bit expensive? I've worked my numbers. Kenny, what do you think of these? Risky. It, it's risky. Do you want to take the risk? Probably not. Especially if you're sort of just starting out, I wouldn't take major amounts of risk, although I'm probably taking a little bit more risk than there. Two bed essays. Two bed essays, whereas we're doing seven bed essays. <laughs> but yeah, we're looking at taking on further. It's all big calculated essays. risk, as I say. But yeah, yeah, it, of course. You know, we did I go know Zach, Zach's fortune. So he... we did go against the uh, the action plan, against the course. But the numbers were Not, too. Uh, you, you have, but you haven't because the numbers stack. The numbers stack. It makes sense. Yeah. So and the landlord's happy. You're both happy. What's the deal then? The what, landlord's ecstatic. What's the deal on this? How long? Oh, five years, I think. Five years. Yeah. Break clauses. Mm, I think we can get out within two months if we have to. Perfect. If, what about the landlord? Six months, I think he yeah, needs. Okay. Yeah. He needs six months, but after a period. Yeah. I'll, I'll, have, to go, I'll have to go back in period. Yeah. After the initial fixed period of about a year, I think he can give us six months. But it's only if all goes to shit. Yeah. Like he has to have a serious reason to to get rid of us. So unless he cops it. Or... So when are you hoping to get this place live? Next few days. I know it looks like there's a lot of work, but we'll have it done. Next couple of days. Yeah, I reckon three more weeks. We'll see. No, no, we haven't got time for three more weeks. Yeah. We've got a month. You don't. Of, yeah, you've got another month's grace. We've got a month's grace. Maximize we need to it. try and get some cash in the bank. It's I'd Wi-Fi like, live. Wi-Fi's live, yeah. I could have connected Drop. to the Wi-Fi. Super so fast. It's, pro it's probably really grainy. Super fast Wi-Fi. It's got like 180 meg a second. Perfect. What, in every room? I don't know about every room. Okay, so well done, Sam. Well done, Zach. I know Zach's watching. Super proud of you both, especially you. I know, you know, Zach's been... Relent oh, Zach's been relentless, relentless smashing it in the background with joined, me. Yeah, the silent assassin is what I call him. He was, uh, but, yeah, um, he was definitely yeah, that. You know, I have a hit list <clears throat> of mentees in what I'd like to... Every I want to see everybody succeed, of course I do. But the ones that are with me the longest and who's next, Yeah, you were next. Oh, yeah, I was definitely so next. It, I was, it's it was it's a relief me. for me that you're now rolling, you know? And yeah, life, yeah. life will now be... In a year's time, mate, you'll be... It was really hard to get the ball rolling, but once the ball was rolling, it's hard to stop it. You, you're trying to sort of slow it down at times. You're getting thrown off as so frequently from this one agent. You're like, I, I literally cannot take this right now. We'll run the numbers on it and go, mm, it might work. It'll work, but no, we'll just pass that one on. Or we'll just package it up and deal source it out. Yeah. Which is what Zach's done for. Yeah, he's just sold a deal. He just sold a deal, I believe. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, whatever we don't take on, because we've got too much going on, we'll just sell it. We'll sell it or we'll pass yeah, it into the group. Sold a deal last week, week before. Yeah, sold a deal last week. Yeah. Um, but yeah, within the group, there's loads of deals that fly around the group as well. So yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a place worth being. Yeah, well done, mate. Thank you, camera person. You've been a star. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in to watch Sam and Zach's seven bed essay. I wish you all the best, mate. Thanks very much. You've been a star. See you guys soon.